umpire McLeod has uh, got hold of the football. It's in the air. It's come down. First tap down went to uh, Thompson with uh, Gage still in there. Laurie went to Highland. He's immediately tackled, and the umpire will have a repeat performance. Gee, I'd have him back in the ruck. He's, he's just about the best ruckman in the comp, and he's sitting in, in the forward zone. Up by throws it up again. Let's see what happens. The ball goes out wide. A chance for... Uh, that was Ray pushing the ball along in front of him, but North got out towards Fries. He couldn't quite pick it up. He's under a bit of pressure. A little push came out of his back. Kicked off the ground by Rowe. Free kick being paid to North to uh, Thompson and Joshua Coley. Strong player. Takes the free kick. Defensive side of the centre wing. Kicks the ball forward. Up goes Gage and takes the mark and just holds the head a bit there. Yeah, it Jamie was... West said it was only an accident. Ball <laughs> said it didn't mean it. But Gage took the mark and now he kicks the ball up the woods half forward. From behind McDermott. Disciplined. The big fist. It travelled a bit of distance too. Leslie chopped it off. Kicked the ball back in towards the forward pocket. Run of O'Connor comes out after the footy. A beating him there was Matheson. Got the ball towards the boundary line. Tapped it out. Will the umpire pay that as a deliberate? No, he won't. The boundary show in. Probably uh, 25 metres around from the goals and Thompson into attack early stages of the second quarter into the breeze. Good uh, match up there, Matheson and Panther. And the ball's 25 metres from the behind post, deep in the attacking area for Thompson. Up high, lovely tap down there by uh, Greg. I think you're right, Laurie, should be in the ruck, got that clearly. But the ball didn't go anywhere at ground level. The umpires put the whistle on play. 20 metres out directly in front there of the Thompson goal. Umpire has uh, possession of the football. There's... Uh, Thompson done well. They've set a bit of a wall across the middle of the ground here, so uh, North will have to do well. Weiss, a big punch down. It went to Norrish. Uh, Norrish. Norrish has a bounce, runs the centre-half back, kicks long to the middle of the ground. Numbers there with Thompson. They will win out. Urkali, handball to Harriet. Harriet, little chip pass has found Highland. Unattended, thought about the handball to go on, but uh, decided now he does to, to Bradley. Bradley now, another chip pass. This time it's Forbes. Having a good day, Marcus Forbes takes the mark uh, 70 metres from goal. Decides to uh, have a good look. North Geelong flooded back there, so Forbes goes long. It's a huge kick to the head of the goal square. Up high there, Rowe. Three or four North Geelong players. The ball punched out. Armstrong first to the drop of the footy. Picks it up. Unfortunately, uh, not in time. It's over the boundary line. Got almost to the 50 metre defensive arc there for uh, North. So that was a huge punch away. Three minutes gone. No change to the quarter time score. Thompson 6 3, North 5 goals. Outer umpire completes his duty, throws the ball back into play. Weiss tries to get front spot, can't do so. Goes to Holland. No Ruckman touched it. Holland fired out a hand pass, put Gardner under pressure. He shook off one, shook off two, he shook off three. He got a hand pass across. That would have been Bradley, was it? Got a kick into the forward line, kick off the ground of the goals. Panther. Where? Panther. By the Panther, the Pink Panther. He wants a free kick. I think it's a minor score. Panther was appealing for a free kick for being slung as he kicked but off the ground, but minor score is the result there for Ross Panther. And uh, Thompson just sneak a little bit further ahead. They've got, I think they've gone to six goals, four, yep, 40. Leading North along five straight, 30. And that is on the Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard as we wait now for Nolan to bring the ball back into play. Probably go along and he does. Kicks it well outside the defensive 50. No one able to take a mark. Back of the pack there. Had Tommy Harriet picks it up. Got a hand pass away to Big Gage. Showed pace for the big fella. Straightens up and goes for his teammate O'Connor. Knocked away from him by Hardman. He's tackled as he gained possession. Got a hand pass out towards Norris. He's in a bit of trouble. Uh, Harriet goes back in. Runs into trouble. Back space of the pack is picked up by Highland. Spuddy Highland into the forward pocket. Not far out from goal. But here is a hand pass over the top. The Panther. McDermott met him hard and did well in that situation. Here comes Mahiris trying to bust his way through the pack. The ball close to the boundary line. Norris just got it half past it towards the fence. He kept it in play. In fact, that might have been hard, but was it got the ball out of there? Nolan to uh, Page. It is Page. A long kick to centre wing where he should be. And Bradley gets across. Drops the mark. He should have perhaps taken. Barnett, he's uh, got numbers to beat there. Attacking the football, Deneman. Gets the ball by hand, uh, looking for a teammate. Scound to O'Brien for North. It's at centre half forward. Attacking the football. Who's a bib. Can't pick it up. Oh, he he's out back to Barnett. At 50, Barnett towards the uh, goal square, unattended. It's rolling, rolling. Oh, just rolled the wrong side of the big timber. And uh, we'll give Chris Barnett a behind because it uh, rolled from outside 50. 5-1 north, 31. Trail Thompson, 6-4-40. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. Four and a half minutes gone. Laurie, did you like how Bibbs tapped there? Experience plus. Yeah, I don't like uh, <laughs> Thompson's defensive half at the moment. Uh, cooking, I've got to tell you. So the kick-in came from uh, Troy Maharis to Harriet by hand to uh, Highland. 
and he uh, gets the ball to go. Oh, this could almost be 50 against Michael Rowe. The ball was taken by Dan O'Connor. Yeah, so you're still and, walking, son. <laughs> so, uh, well, Dan yeah. O'Connor thought about playing on, then realised uh, it was a mark. He can't do that. Michael Rowe has offended, and the 50-metre penalty has been applied by and, the umpire. And should be dragged straight away, Laurie. Well, he, he wants to do undisciplined acts. You put him on the bench for a while, let him think about it. Yeah, well, I think uh, the coach is uh, looking at it pretty uh, hard, I would, should imagine. But, if you were uh, coaching, would he be off? If I was coaching, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're sitting on the bench. You'll get splinters doing that stuff. No, look, so, I, no so. I don't believe in pulling him off just for 50 metre. I like the blokes, blokes to play hard. Not angry, but hard. So the man on the mark, Michael Rowe, is 35 metres out. 45 degree angle. Dan O'Connor might struggle with the bruise. Moves in. Well, he uh, it's going to land in the goal square. Big pack of players there. Off hands, it's uh, through for a behind. So uh, another behind, two behinds to one in this quarter to Thompson. 6-5-41, North 5-1-31. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, six minutes gone. Well, despite Laurie de Gold is sitting on the fence, if you're going to give away free kicks, and Michael Rowe's been in that mould a little bit lately, Pull him up, settle him down, so look, play football, son. Otherwise, you're going to sit and watch the game a bit. The kick in's an absolute shock. It's marked by Somali Armstrong. Plays oh. on, runs into an open goal. I think he's made him pay oh, for that, isn't he? I think he? it's through. The goal umpire comes back with a hated a little and says, it's a goal. Oh, who kicked that in? Somali's kicked his fourth. <laughs> also, yeah, Shane it? also off the instep. That's shocking kick. Seventh goal for Thompson. 7-5, 47. They lead North 5-1-31, four goals to Armstrong. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, six and a half minutes gone. And uh, gee, that was a fatal mistake, Laurie. <laughs> it certainly was. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, you, you, know, you can't believe it because he's such a beautiful kick. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I had the glasses on him as he ran back towards the centre wing here to pick up Noel Riley. And I'm glad he couldn't, uh, <laughs> the, the listeners couldn't hear it on radio. He was giving himself a fair old baste. And rightly so. Back into the centre. Weiss versus Gage. Weiss, clearly this one down to ground, but taken out of the centre there. That might have been Harriet, got a little kick in, didn't travel too far. Went back into the centre square, in fact. Here's a chance for Rowe to play the football. He kicks it, but it's smothered off his boot. Thompson have worked the ball just there, attacking side of the centre. A chance here for Gardner. The big fella grabs it, got a hand pass out, went to Rowe. He got a hand pass out, back towards his teammate there in Weiss. Couldn't get it. Windscreens, O'Brien's got it. He tumbles the punt into the forward zone. It bounces inside 50. Running onto the football. Russell Hurney's at the back of the pack. Can he get clear? He can't. He got a hand pass away. He was well tackled. And then a chase by Mahiras. But it's built to Jason Habib on the left foot. Across the face of goal. He's missed everything. Gee, he hooked that a fair way, didn't he? I'm not sure whether he uh, meant... Passed it to someone. What was a dreadful kick for Blake who kicked the ball? <laughs> yeah, he's caught on the left foot. He, I think he was looking at the goals actually, but uh, right, just well, didn't. Out of bounds in the forward pocket, and here's Eric Nichols to tell you about the next little bit of stuff here. So the ball about to come back into play, deep in the attacking area for North Geelong. Good throw in. Bradley doing the ruck work for Thompson. Punches it clear, almost to 50. Hearn first to the footy, but uh, Dowie does well. O'Brien comes in. Handball back to Allsop. Handball over the top to Russell Hearn. Oh, went before acceptances, but he picks it up, kicks toward the goal square. Numbers with Thompson there. Coley can't take the mark, but he follows through. Deneman there to support him. Well shepherded by uh, Coley. Deneman gets the ball clear and is taken by Leslie on defensive 50. Oh, Gage on his own centre wing. Takes the mark. He's got Fryers descending on him. Has time to have a bounce. Then goes backwards. Hooks it round the body towards half foot. Forbes in front. Strong he, mark. He's on fire, Forbes. He's having a great game. He took a beauty there in front of his opponent on Turkey. Kicked the ball with the left foot forward. Wasn't a good kick though, Nolan. Chopped it up at half back and took a good mark. Been a bit quiet so far, Brett Nolan. North Geelong need him to lift. Three kicks, Cookie. So Nolan now on half-back flank, really looking for options. Decides to uh, kick to the middle of the ground. Weiss is there. Armstrong uh, arrives late, takes the mark, handballs quickly to uh, McDermott. McDermott off the side of the boot, goes towards centre wing. Matheson can't take the mark, follows up, does well. Gets back on the left foot, but handball to Allsop. Allsop now, that's a better kick. Looking for Russell Hearn. It's just over the head there of Troy Maharis. And uh, Hearn, with the man on the mark, 46 metres from goal. Well, thought about playing on. Umpire was in the process of lining up. I think he must have blown uh, time off, perhaps. No, he hasn't. Oh, look, at this, look at this here. So Michael Rowe makes uh, some movement. But Russell Hearn, maybe he fancies himself. It'll take a good kick. It's a good kick, but he's hooked it round inside the body. Numbers there. Free kick against uh, either Vessi or Habib. Habib's protesting uh, vehemently. 
But Bradley has uh, the free kick, plays on quickly, finds uh, on half-back flank, it's Brett Dowie. He's got the mark just to sort of back pocket area there, goes out wide, looking here for a Coley, has to make contact. Fryers does well, knocks it to the ground, speaking on up, Michael Rowe, Michael Rowe up to the right-hand side and just missed, I think. Gee, it looked all right from here, the goal up was that it was a point. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, Behind to north, 5-2-32. They trail Thompson 7-5-47. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 10 and a half minutes gone. They certainly look good off the boot. Yeah, it looked like a goal to me, but the goal umpire right there on the job. And he said it was a minor score. So uh, just one goal on the ball this, this term, and it's gone to Thompson against the Breeze. So Troy Maharas, lovely kick against the Breeze. Oh, dropped very quickly. O'Connor took the mark, played on quickly to Highland. Highland now, gee, numbers with Thompson back there. If uh, they can stand up, they've got a big chance. McDermott does well to hold things up. He gets some support from Page, but uh, Thompson at the drop of the football. Umpire whistles on play, ball not coming out. That's so, Hachey up there, isn't it? So the ball uh, just forward of the centre. Well, he's heading back now. He was in that uh, passage of play, certainly. As uh, players going over, in high was Gage, a big punch forward. Running hard there was uh, Gardner. Well, Nolan oh, showed, him the, showed him the football and uh, kicks it long to nobody in particular. And the ball drifts over the boundary line. Not on the full. A bit the of ball. a tangle up there, mate. The umpy's there, though. He's uh, going to sort that one out. And funnily enough, Tim Gardner and uh, Britt Nolan are involved. So uh, a couple of quiet the, the, thing, the thing about three umpires, they won't, can't afford to be uh, not keeping eyes on the football. So we Need to be careful, Eric. If our umpire's got it, he's just on the attacking side of the centre wing with the... Uh, North along with the Breeze into attack. Breeze seems to be strengthening a little bit, but Thompson doing all the attacking this quarter. Boundary throw, and it comes back to Wood Scan. He couldn't get it. O'Connor got it. Hair pass to his running teammate in Highland. Highland straightens up and goes on the right foot. The lead is on. No mark taken. On Turk got it away there to Nolan. In defence, and Nolan kicks it out wide, but North along Scan dropped one he would have liked to have held. Now he's tackled. Did he pull the ball in? Did he get one in the back? In the back. It's against Leslie. Free kick to Brad Scan. Chips the ball across to the oh, centre. Well looking read. for Barnett, but it was beautifully read as Eric called had come across with a hair pass to Harriet. Harriet breaks away from the centre, he goes long to the forward zone, about four players fell over, and I reckon one of them might have been pushed in the back. <laughs> yeah, well, good call, Cookie. Russell Grigg, isn't it? Yeah, Russell Grigg clearly pushed in the back by Norris on that occasion. and uh, He fell yeah. over, and two players just to the right of him <laughs> fell over as well. They've got there like nine pins there, but the pushing back was there, and I think that is a free kick, and, and big Russell Grigg a chance now to kick the second goal against the Breeze for Thompson. So the ball, uh, the man on the mark, 35 metres out, will be a good kick into the Breeze. Does kick the ball pretty long, this fellow. And, uh, well, he's hooked it. The bruise is bringing it back. Has it brought it back enough? I don't I think it has. Know. I, no. Oh, they're quite. all clapping down there. So he's missed to the uh, left-hand side. Just 7 6 48, Thompson. They lead north 5 2 32. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 13 minutes gone. And uh, Shane Alsop not kicking in, Cookie. No, the Brett Nolan's <laughs> just wrestled it from him. He goes short in the back pocket. It's OK. Teammate there in McDermott no. takes the mark in the back pocket on the grandstand side, just steadying things up a little bit. Nolan makes position. He goes longer than that, though. Forbes a chance to mark. Olsop from behind the fist. Down the ground it goes. He's Page and Norwich it was coming through. Got a hand pass to Barnett. Down he goes. He gets a hand pass. He's certainly favouring that shoulder. He's got a free kick for one across the shoulder, and he'll take the free kick at half back. He hand passes off to Olsop. Let's see what Slops he can do with this one. That's a better kick. Long towards the centre wing. Running with the flight of the football, Harbin did well. Didn't give away a free kick, but got the ball down. Then has to hurl his opponent, Hearn, his teammate Hearn, in fact, as he gets a hand pass away. Chopped off Troy Mahiras. Good kick, too. Up towards the centre wing. The mark taken by Brother Nick. So, right on the left foot, he was forced there, but uh, does find Forbes. Forbes is having a good day today, taking the mark on half forward flank. Thompson doing well in this quarter against the Breeze. Long kick from Forbes to full forward. Oh, almost a one handed mark there by Nolan. He's got Eight. the free kick anyway. And uh, plays on quickly, goes out wide, numbers with North here on Turk, on halfback flank, takes the mark, unattended. Decides to go back in the middle of the ground. The lead's come from Fryers from a long way back, and uh, he got away from her Coley on that occasion. That's took... better because they haven't run the ball too well this quarter. That was good lead from Fryers. He took the mark and he played on. He got a hair pass to Harbin. The middlest goes towards centre half forward and half him. Strong in front of Bradley. Takes the mark and those vice like grip hands of his. And he goes short towards the half forward line looking for Rowe on the lead. Rowe's got it. He's tackled. He good took tackle. a while to try and get rid of the footy too long for mine. And he was penalised. Play on the call now. Advantage paid as the hair pass come out. Not much advantage there in the finish because they mucked it up. But Tommy Harriet goes back and gets the footy. Did well. 
for the Thompson Tigers. Got it up the woods, O'Connor. Oh, he slapped it out of the pack. Was that a throw? No, said the umpire. Goes towards Nick Meharis at centre wing. And really, that great tackle, I think that was made by, it might have been Denneman, was it? But it was a great tackle, and really, they got yeah, no, Denneman, benefit, Denneman no, Denneman, no benefit whatsoever. So the ball now, centre wing in front of the social club here at St Albans. And uh, just a couple of players, Laurie, taking their eyes off the footy there a little, I think. And... Uh, i tell you what, Hardman's given as good as he getting out there. He's having plenty to say to Dan O'Connor about that effort. In front there, Gage gets the tap down. Picked up there by Maharis. Able to get the foot to the football. Has uh, Nolan and O'Connor having a little bit to do there uh, off the play. Umpires might have a look at that, but no, the ball comes to Habib. Just forward of centre for North Geelong. Takes the chest mark. Looks for the lead there of Michael Rowe. He's got away on that occasion. Oh, catch! Diving, He's Mark. Out. You'd have to walk for that one. The one hand went out. The oh, ball oh. stuck in it. That was a great effort because it was the kick was not was pretty good, but it was just the wrong <laughs> side. But he had to dive backwards and take it as he hit the ground. And he was still able to keep it in one hand. That was a terrific effort, Michael Rowe. What we want to see you doing. So the man on the mark, 40 from goal. Michael Rowe's gone back another 40. Has uh, about to move in. A goal that they need, North. Row now, moves in, gets underneath it. I think he might have hooked it a little to the left, and he has. Yeah, tried for a little bit more distance. So that's uh, one goal, two off his boot. 5-3, 33, North Geelong. They trail Thompson, 7-6, 48. Raiders bingo, second quarter, scoreboard, 16 minutes gone. Just one goal, kick for the quarter, I think. Yes, it's that's by Thompson kick against by the Bruce, you're against right. the Bruce, so their defensive effort has been very good in this term going into the wind. As we see Harriet kick the ball back into play. Ooh, went long the long kick. one. It's a beautiful long kick. He went for Mahiris. Uh, Greg it was. He's on the ball now. Is he? He knocked the ball to the ground. He couldn't mark it. Fryer's good. He got a hand pass away. A further one comes along for North Geelong to scout. He's in a bit of trouble. Gets around Denneman. Got a hand pass to have him. He fell over. His hand pass was cut off beautifully there by Joshua Carley. Kick wasn't effective. Christian Island's got it. Get it back to Bradley. Under pressure. Tumbles the pump. Out towards the boundary line. Page is there. Taken away from him by Big Greg. Greg goes around towards O'Connor on the centre wing. He Marks on his own. He's held up well there by the bottom of McDermott, was it, who held yeah, him up. Yeah, he did just, well. Good defence. he was about to go, and he just made him settle down a bit. Gives his teammates a chance to pick up the players as O'Connor now kicks the ball back towards oh, half Oh, in Forbes. front, Forbes. That, that is a good mark. And is he having a good day, Marcus oh. Forbes? Is he ever? Yeah, just Kick too, number seven for too strong there for on Turk. Goes toward forward pocket. At the back there is uh, Savali Armstrong. Can't take the mark. Picked up by Leslie. He kicked toward the goal square. Back there is Barnett. Numbers with North Geelong. Barnett over the top there of Riley. Finds Allsop. He's got time to steady. Now kicks long to the lead on centre wing. Good looking lead from uh, Russell Herman. Great defensive work. Troy Maharis got the big fist into the footy. Looked for the boundary line and found it. And over in front of the social club. 17 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter. Thompson 48 lead North 33. Did well there, Troy Maharis, because the kick was pretty good from Shane Allsop. It would have got to Russell Herman, but he nipped in front of him and just got a hand on it to put it out of bounds on the centre wing in front of the stand here. Throw the ball back into play, they do. Goes down to Weiss. He got the tap out to Barnett. Barnett's little short kick didn't travel too far. Oh, gutsy stuff. A North Zealand player dived on the ball. No free kick. Hand pass come out from Grigg. He got it to O'Connor. He straightens up. Runs towards uh, Ford. Kicks towards the Ford. Pocket from behind. Matheson, the fist was good. He left the ball for Nolan, but it didn't bounce for him. Then Matheson went back and tapped it back to Nolan. Well worked back there on two marks on the defensive 50 he's and he's got just, nowhere to go he had nowhere to go he wanted to play on there was nowhere to kick it to so he steadied things down he went for o'brien and towards the center of the ground he couldn't handle it o'brien but he knocked the ball further and further oh, by by couldn't quite pick it up uh, oh carly did well but it went back to o'brien he gets a little scrubby kick around the boundary now to page who's oh, up and running but he might be out of bounds is it no, Might be a free, free kick, kick to Coley. And, uh, if they're not careful, they'll lose it because <laughs> That's against o the O'Brien came in and uh, remonstrated with Coley. Now we can call the play on. Jade Hayes, that is. He kicks it on the left foot towards Hale. Oh, good work, Bradley. Couldn't take the mark. He was off balance and punched the ball for the safety of the boundary line. So it's half forward flank for North. 19 minutes gone in this uh, second quarter. Still no goal for the Magpies. One, three, two, two behinds. A very defensive quarter. That wind looks to be swirling a bit, Cookie. It's all over the place. He might be blowing more across the ground than down it now, Eric, as it comes back into playing. Greg, clear knockout this occasion. Got it down towards his teammate in Dowie. Fell over at the crucial stage. Gathered possession. He was pushed over the boundary line there by Windscreens O'Brien. Have a lot of a boundary throw in, and Dowie shows his disappointment of losing his feet by slamming the ball into the turf before he gives it to the umpire. Yeah, <coughs> 
Very umpire about to start it off again. Grigg versus Weiss. Grigg, good to see him in the ruck in this term. Up he goes. He wins it clearly down the ground. Highland's got it. Tackled. Got a hand pass away. OK. Little kick around the body's OK. Marked by O'Connor. His defensive side of centre wing. Wants to move the ball quickly. Does so now towards Armstrong on the lead. Smashed away from him by McDermott. Goes down the ground. also has got it in the centre. Let's see if he can get a driving kick to this. We know he can kick it a country mile. This one, he actually kicked it like a Wanganui wobbler. And the lead in front. Oh, a fortune. He's paid the mark to Vessi. I don't think I was, I'd walk if I was a batsman. Yeah, I want to see the replay of that one. <laughs> because he didn't look to have it. It was a shocking kick from all something. We know he can kick it a long way. He didn't nail that one as a Wanganui wobbler. It spun badly through the air. Vessi dived. And the umpire said, you've taken the mark. And now Clint Vessi, a chance. Well, good chance. He's only 25 metres out directly in front. He's going to score. He needs the major. Not too long. Haven't kicked one this quarter. They're 5-3 on the board. Ooh. As Vessi goes for goal. They're 5-4 on the border, shocking miss. Yes, Can't was afford a, to miss them. Was a bad miss. 1-1 one, one off the boot of Clint Vissey. 5-4-34, as Cookie mentioned. 7-6-48, Thompson. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 20 and a half minutes gone as the ball comes back into the field and uh, Troy Maharis <coughs> will uh, do the kicking in. So Aitchison doing the job well on Vissey at the moment. He's goalless. So there's a lovely kick in from Maharis to Bradley. Still inside defensive 50. Takes the mark, goes high towards centre wing. Numbers appear to be with the North out there. Oh, great work. Come on, run. Ball comes to ground. O'Connor leads in the race for the footy. Doesn't pick it up first uh, time, but gets a handball to Grigg, who is running through the middle. A long kick from Grigg to full forward. Oh, Armstrong, terrific roving. Unfortunately, fell over and uh, picked up there by Onturk. He goes towards centre wing. He's got no one to kick to. The mark taken there by Harriet. He quickly plays on. The kick is too strong. Over the head of his team. Oh, Christian Highland. That's what footy's all about. He's Runs kicked the goal. On the left foot. Magnificent effort, Christian Highland. He's kicked the goal on the left foot. And that was much deserved. He attacked the footy. Really wanted it. And has kicked his first for the day. Great goal for Thompson's there. 8 eight six fifty four. They lead North Geelong 5-4-34. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 22 minutes gone. Yeah, well, it was a great uh, roving goal. At, uh, just for the listeners uh, out there, he's had 13 kicks and 12 handballs in the first half. So uh, he's, all right. he's go I reckon he's going OK. Uh, Dan O'Connor, they're a different in contrast today. Dan O'Connor's had seven kicks and five handballs. He normally racks up the handballs. But I, I think they've uh, had a bit of a strategy in there. And they're going more to uh, Highland today uh, and, and letting uh, O'Connor have a bit of a free run. Back into the centre. No one really got the knockout. Thompson will get the centre. Yeah, Gardner it was, got it up the woods half forward. That's Royal a mark. Riley, That's yeah. well marked by Noel Ryder because the ball dropped quickly on him. He was able to get his hands on it. He fires up a hand pass to the running teammate in Highland. Highland goes into the half forward flank area looking for Safali Armstrong and he takes the mark in front of the scoreboard which shows 8-6 to 5-4 in the favour of Thompson. Sabali, what's that? Kick is an absolute Barry Crocker. He's put it out of bounds on the full near no one else but the boundary umpire. He Perhaps must have the, uh, really that, barely missed kick that one. That I, just a, said, I just said Vessi was goalless before, but that was a part from the goal he got. Yeah. <laughs> Ball now, it's kicked back for uh, North toward the middle. Friars can't take the mark. Good pick up there by Highlands. Threw it to Gardner. Gardner on the blind side of the umpire it was. Gets it towards Forbes. Attacks the footy. Coming through as follow-up is Riley. Oh, player uh, attack. No Attack the uh, the player without the footy. Cut a jar, but it's in the yeah. middle of the ground. Norrish picks it up. Has a bounce. Good defensive work. Harriet just about stopped the run. Page took the mark. He falls over. Get to a hand. Oh, good work. Dowie for Thompson. Through the middle of the ground. Long kick. All oh, Thompson out there. Sabali Armstrong on his own. He's inside 50. Good shepherding there by Urkali. Armstrong runs in. I he's think he's uh, missed. missed to the left-hand side, hasn't he? Yep. He had, has. Had plenty of time to kick that one. Bad miss. It's four goals, two off his boot. But it's all Thompson at the moment. 8 7 55, Thompson. 5-4-34 North, Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 23 and a half minutes gone. Still goalless for the quarter, the Magpies with the breeze. As Brett Nolan prepares to kick in, he's taking a bit of time about it. Looking for an option, they haven't, too, haven't had too many options when they've gone oh, forward this it's quarter. A shocking he's kick tumbled as well. the punt, it's a shocker. Chopped off there and marked well, that was by Leslie. He's outside, he's attacking 50, goes across to Harriet, he marks inside the 50, kicks Mother off the boot, well played the North Geelong defenders. Nolan. Worked the ball back towards the fence. Hand pass, that might have been cut. Jay got it to oh. Weiss. Weiss give it a, a little throw, is it? Oh. Row, a throw to Row. Row goes towards Hearn, who should mark in the centre of the ground, and he does so. North Geelong, lead a goal before half time. There's no doubt about it.
about that. He kicks the ball forward, looking for the lead there of uh, Habib. Punched away by Bradley at the last minute. Did well to get a hand on the footy. Stacks on the mill. The ball come out of the pack now. Will it do so? A chance now for Highland. He can't pick it up. Hand pass there. Came from Highland, in fact, to Bradley. Bradley under pressure. He got a hand pass. It was chopped off. He went to Fryers. Fryers give it to Barnett. Barnett give it across to Scout. Scout goes over the top. The windscreen over Ryan. And he smashes the goal. Yes, a very good goal for North Geelong and uh, much needed. David O'Brien's first and the 6-4 North. Their first for the quarter, 6-4, 40. They trail Thompson, 8 seven fifty five. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 25 minutes gone. And the umpires missed what was going on behind the play over there, but, uh, and I won't tell you what happened, but there's a bloke in black and white who probably shouldn't be out there. Oh, well. <coughs> at the other end of the ground, Eric. Yes, it was at the other end of the ground, and uh, it was as, as a result of the, the bit of play before the ball came uh, the full length. Now, Tommy Harriott, uh, I think, uh, was on the receiving end. And, uh, Gage off. And isn't very well at the present time. But the ball back in the middle with the umpire. Into time on, second quarter. Up high there, Greg. Comes down to Highland. Can't control the footy. Gardner does. Handball over the top for Highland. Quickly gets the kick to the right foot. Out wide. O'Connor leads in the race for the footy, pursued by Hardman. Does well, gets the ball, unfortunately forced over the boundary line. And uh, boundary umpire has said it is out. Dan O'Connor protesting that uh, the ball wasn't, but uh, boundary umpire wins and just forward of centre wing. 26 minutes gone, boundary umpire to put the ball back into play. Close to half time, won't be much time on this quarter because goals have been a rarity. The ball knocked the ground, here comes Rowe, he's tackled high, he got rid of the footy though, O'Connor picks it up. Got air pass to the dashing Timmy Gardner, he takes it and he kicks it and he gets up and under it. Here the push to the back there from Leslie, out comes Nolan, crashes through a couple of players. He's playing pretty physically back there, Brett Nolan. Now there's a Thompson player line on top of the footy. Hands on the jumper, hands in the air, umpire will ball it up. Last one up will be Timmy Gardner, I'll bet you. <laughs> <laughs> it was Timmy. He was underneath that back there. He had no chance of getting that ball out. The umpire correctly assumes possession. He bowls it up. Up you go, Forbes. That's him with an hit-outs now down there. He can, he can do no wrong, Marcus Forbes. He comes across. That looked like Riley having a pot shot in towards the goal mouth. Up in front, the good fist there from, uh, that was Matheson. Got a touch on the ball in front of Panther just at the right time. Spoilt the marker. Come back towards Armstrong. He's deep in the left forward pocket, he's had a left foot shot, oh, he's had a left foot left shot, foot. oh he's made a bench for a miss before, oh. that is a great goal, Somali Armstrong kicks his fifth goal. So that's 9 to Thompson, 9-7-61, they lead North Geelong 6-4-40, Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, 27 minutes gone, Laurie don't get many goals, <laughs> better than that. Yeah, it's a funny game isn't it, oh. uh, before I, was, I would have said, uh, I would have uh, dragged uh, Somali off for that kick before I would never bring him off for 50 metres for just for hitting someone hard but uh, for a kick like that that was shocking and uh, he turns around left foot and kicks a beautiful a lot goal. of credit Nick Maharis there the ball was getting away he dived on it was able to keep the ball in the forward area for, for Thompson and probably caused the goal yeah they're the one percenters so the ball in the middle once again Christian Highland is at the drop of the footy so is Dan O'Connor can't get the ball clear umpire giving them every chance and we'll have a repeat performance. Still no Mario Zitko. We haven't sighted him. He limped off onto the uh, interchange bench after the warm-up. We haven't sighted him. I just wonder... No, I haven't given him a stat yet, mate. I well, that's good because you haven't on the ground. You're doing a good job, Laurie. <laughs> up they go on the centre. Weish versus Greg. Greg right. wins this one down. Got it out on high on to kick up the wood. Centre half forward. Mark taken beautifully by Harriet. He zigs and zags. He plays on. He kicks it long. Nolan comes out. Tries a one hander. Almost had it the second attempt. Hand pass from Matheson off the base of the pack. Goes towards Barnett. He can't handle it. They stack it on top of the ball. And the players here as Nick Mahira throws his hand in the air with the free kick. For what I do not know. Calling for a cab, I think. We'll have a ball up decision. Thompson in attack. And the scoreboard has gone to 9 7 61 to Thompson North along 6 4 40. It's 21 points the difference on the Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Ball comes to ground, picked up by Riley, handball to Gardner. Boy, dummies around the player, kicks it towards the goal spur. It's a long kick, bending back, but in the last line of defence. Good mark. Defensive mark, is it Matheson? That is the last is. line of defence. It is. Terrific mark. Only a short kick, 25 metres has found Nolan. I think he's having more trouble worrying about players in the footy at the moment. He kicks it wide looking for O'Brien. Ball, a bounce doesn't suit him. Comes to Forbes. Try, gets his way through a couple of tackles. A nice little chip pass. This time has found Nick Maharis. And uh, he is inside the 50 metre arc. But uh, would be a huge kick from there. Man in the mark, Brett Nolan. He is being lined up. Nolan would be uh, 45 metres from goal. He uh, 
Well, it, oh, there's a mark, and uh, surely, umpire, if you're feeding him, that should be just about 50 as well. No. One umpire given, one umpire won't. So, uh, mark taken, and uh, it's Tom Harriet. He's been subjected to a bit of pressure in the last five minutes. But well, the best, uh, uh, the best medicine is Dobbit. Exactly. And it was Norris that played that very late attempt at a spoil, and he knew as soon as he hit him at the glass, so he knew he was gone for 50, uh, and it wasn't paid. So, uh, Harriet now moves in. It's a oh, swinging across, hit the post on the right-hand side. So uh, Good effort. A good kick from there. The eighth's behind for the Thompson side. 9 8 62. They lead North Geelong 6 4 40. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. We've just ticked past 30 minutes. So three goals, five to Thompson, and one goal, four to North Geelong with the breeze in the second term. The ball kicked out long, back into play. Picked up by Onto. Got a hand pass across to Harbin. Had a fit of the fumbles. Couldn't get it. O'Connor got it. Went back to Harbin. There was O'Connor was lost the ball in the tackle. Now Harbin with the left foot around the body. Chance for Johnny Mitchell to run on the foot. Which he for Pace. And uh, Page is beaten too because the siren <laughs> sounded. And at half time, we've got nine goals, four. That's uh, nine, eight, in fact, 62 points, Thompson. North Geelong a 6 4 40. The margin, 22 points on the Raiders' bingo second quarter scoreboard. Goal kickers to half time for Thompson.